Hi, everyone. I'm Paul with Madcap Software. Uh, we're on video five of our series on meta tags in uh, Madcap Flare, and we want to talk about content management of your source files. So another great use for meta tags. And so this is all about getting a handle on your on your uh, on your documentation, on your information, being able to just kind of find and, you know, and to use what you need um, according to these connections between your files and the meta tags, having meta tags help you do that. Um, there are various tools within Flare that let you do this. And uh, I'm gonna run through these one by one. Uh, there is the analysis ribbon. There's also, so there are some reports up there that have to do specifically with meta tags. There is the find and replace window pane, which you're probably familiar with, and it's split into two parts. You can use both of those tabs. Uh, there's the file list window pane. You can find information there. So there are all kinds of reasons um, or ways that you could use meta tags for your content management. Just you know, off the top of my head, I'm thinking uh, one way that you could possibly use it is say, uh, you need to create a checklist. I do this for every release on every feature that I create. I have to create, um, that I document. I have to create a checklist of all the things I need to do for that feature and all the topics that are affected by that, uh, existing topics, new topics that I need to create. There's you know, lots of files can be affected. And until now, I, what I really need, uh, what I'd have to do is just think, okay, I know this section, these topics, and then it might be this one. And I might have to like do a global search for some keywords and just to make sure I have everything covered. Well, with meta tags, suppose I took the trouble to uh, create meta tags according to subject matter. And I associated these meta tags with various files throughout my project, the topics and snippets and images and, you know, all, all these things that are affected. So if uh, we decide, all right, we're going to write, we're going to, you know, do this uh, feature and it's on this subject area. Well, now I could do, use one of these tools in Flare and get this compiled list of all these things that are associated with that subject matter, that meta tag, and it makes it easier for me to create my checklist. All right, that's just one possibility. Uh, I'm sure that you can think of others, but yeah, content management, really, really important part of meta tags. So what I'm gonna do in these next sections is I'm just gonna take you through the UI and show you these various tools that you can use. So the analysis ribbon, you come up here and there are five different reports or scans that are related to meta tags in here. And maybe the one that uh, might get the most use is this one in used items. And you come down here and it's used meta tags. Select that and it's going to load all of the meta tags you've seen me uh, create so far in this little project. And it, over on the left, you have the meta tags and then what meta tags set they're from if they are from you know a, a meta tag set and then uh, content that's the values in those so this is one way to get an idea of you know what meta tags you've got and what files are using them and so forth now this one is showing uh things according to pages and this is a very small project so i only have one page but you can imagine if i had thousands of files it would go on for tons and tons of pages, uh, but you can't. And so you, it might, you know, list authors. Well, for, yeah, authors for days, because there could be tons and tons of topics that are associated with authors. And uh, so if you wanted to be able to see, you know, everything at once, you can click view all, uh, of course, on a really big project uh, with lots and lots of files, having lots and lots of meta tags, that's going to take a little bit of time to load, but yeah, you can do that. Uh, another one that might be uh, used a lot is, let's see, it's under here under more reports, you have unused items. And then in here, you select 
unused meta tags. And you can see I've created a few here, dog rescue, the PDFs, videos, robots, but I haven't used them anywhere. I've just created them. And so this might be really useful for you uh, if you are, you know, want to want to make sure you've got everything done. Come in here and you go, oh yeah, I forgot to apply these meta tags to things. So that's another one. Some others under uh, more reports. Some of these are just uh, are reports that are going to point out problems that you've got, like duplicate meta tags. All right, and there's probably not going to be anything in here because if you were to go into one of your meta tag sets, for example, you can't create two meta tags with the same name. I can't create another one called PDFs in here. It's not going to let me. And that's what it's talking about. Now I could go into a separate meta tag set. Let me uh, open up one up here. And I could create one called PDFs here. And so it would exist in these two places and that's fine. But what the duplicate meta tags uh, report is talking about is you having two of them in the same place. So it'd have to be kind of a weird way to get into that situation. And wh what I would do is actually run the summary scan and it's going to pick this stuff automatically. So you don't have to remind yourself to go look in each of these files. It's going to highlight things in red, things that you really need to take care of. Duplicate and then there's invalid meta values. All right. Uh, and I don't have any problem with that. If, if you've, if, yeah, if you've got invalid stuff, it's going to list it in here. And then there is also undefined. So I don't have anything in here too, I'm sure. Yeah. And that might happen, for example, if you were to say rename something in the markup and it, you know, the, it broke the links and it would show these as undefined in here. But yeah, all these things you can use to find information about your meta tags. This is one way to do it. And we're going to continue on and next look at uh, some other ways. Next, we're going to look at the find text feature. Okay, finding text. Here's what I'm talking about. Go to your home ribbon, find and replace, open this up. And you've got two tabs, find text, find elements. And we're going to be working with the one over here on the left, find text. Okay, and uh, what you might do in order to discover or find, locate uh, certain meta tags is to look in your source code. So remember that in the Content Explorer, I assigned all of these things here under C training to Emily and Jeff. And I can go and open up the properties and remind you that, yeah, right here, Emily and Jeff. So I might want to want to find, okay, what are all the files that are assigned to Emily and Jeff or just one person? And it's going to open up like this. And you can go to the text editor view and up in the head tag, that's where these meta tags are stored as you set them. And it's written like this. And so you could select this, uh, maybe the whole thing or maybe part of it like that and copy it and paste it over here. And it's going to find exactly this. So just keep that in mind. It's going to find exactly what you told it to find. Come down to options, select find and source code, L looking in the whole project, find all. And it's going to list all these things that have that markup. All right. And there's not a ton, but it's everything that we assigned to Emily and Jeff. So that's another way that you might consider doing it. And uh, so that's uh that's can can be relatively easy but you might need to first open up the topic and copy this unless you you know know exactly how to write the markup uh, and so that is one possibility and next we're going to look at this find elements tab and the find elements tab over here on the right. So we could do something similar to what we just did on the find text tab. And you can uh, select all these different kinds of tags in here and uh, or elements in here, actually. And it's by default starts out with tag. And that's what I want to look for. I want to look for a meta tag. 
So I can come in here, I could type it in there, or I can just come down and go select meta. Let me move this out to get a little bit more room. Now, uh, so if, yeah, if I searched there, it would find all the meta tags, but I wanna drill in a little bit more so I can add a row. And now I wanna select attribute. And what's the name? Well, remember how things are written over here. Name, authors, content, Emily, Jeff. So in this one, I could select or type in name. And then over here, I could select authors. And if I did that, all right, I select find all. And it's going to bring up a whole bunch right? And you can see in here in the context, Emily, Jeff, Maya, Jeff. So it's not just Emily and Jeff, it's it's all these authors and all these files that are associated with anything from the author's meta tag. But I could get more specific, click add row, add another attribute, and this time select content, because that's what we have here, right? Content, Emily, Jeff. And if I wanted to find just Emily, just Jeff, I could put in their names, or I could write it just like that, Emily, comma, Jeff. And then this should change now if I click find all. Yeah, it's got everything that's uh, assigned to Emily and Jeff in here. So that's another way to find you know, what is connected to your meta tags or certain values. That's that's a really, really nice one right there. And finally, after this, we're going to look at one last one, and that is the file list window pane, which has been in, Fla in Flare, you know, I think since the beginning. All right, the last thing I want to show you is the file list window pane. You come to view and file list is right there. And of course you have this filter Right now it's filtered to show absolutely everything. Let me close that to get more room. And so I could you know, keep that, or I could get more um, specific and do topics or template pages or whatever. Now this option isn't going to be quite as, uh, you know, give you quite as much as the others that we've talked about, but I do wanna point out it does have one thing and that's this description column. So remember, we did the description meta tag, because this is something that's been in Flare for a really long time, and it's just moved. But uh, yeah, you can, you can find this information very quickly here. You could just uh, click on it to sort. And you can see I only have one topic where I have um, I have applied, I have used this actual value. So it's only bringing up this one, but if I had, you know, 750, I'd get 750 things in a row here. And I could locate all of those things. And I could see, you know, what topics don't have description meta tags. So if I wanted to filter by topics only, get rid of that, all that other stuff, because that's really where description meta tag is probably going to be used. So you can see, I've got a lot of work to do. I need to go through all these and add description meta tags to them. All right, so that is a look at how you can use uh, meta tags uh, for content management within Flare. So now that you know the tools, just use the ones that make sense to you to uh, you know locate all the things that you're gonna be doing because it's gonna, you're, you're going to get more and more stuff over time. And so these things can become very, very handy. All right. So this was video five, video six. Up next, we wanted, I showed you just a little bit of the markup. There are a few things, more things to say about that. So I'll see you in that video.